Welcome to Solo Shot First, and today we're going to be having a look at the Star Wars. I think this is the Power of the Force. Obviously, this is a, um, a sort of foreign language pill, but it's the speeder bike um, that comes with the exclusive Luke Skywalker in Endor gear with lightsaber and blaster. Now, that Luke obviously is certainly from the Power of the Force range. Um, Obviously, this is Power of the Force, but uh, it's it's very it looks very very bulky. You can see from the front cover on the packaging, it looks bulky. But obviously, the whole idea of me picking this up was quite simply to um, review the actual speeder bike itself, especially with regards to the recent news that we will be getting the speeder bike or a speeder bike in the vintage collection. So. First and foremost, let's have a look at the packaging. I, I, I do actually quite like this packaging. Um, I mean, it's a little bit different. Um, obviously, you've got a nice image there on the front of, um, of Luke on the speeder bike itself. You've got Darth Vader in that left-hand corner, uh, the kind of logo, and obviously just the um, information in, in terms of the um, detailing of what you get within this box. The packaging on the side, very similar. It's exactly the same image that they've used. Legal information on the bottom, which is quite nice, so that's tucked away. And actually on the back of the packaging, as you can see there, it tells you about the other things that were released. Obviously, I wouldn't say as part of this wave, essentially, but other vehicles that were available. So you actually had the Snowspeeder, the T-16 Skyhopper, and the Millennium Falcon. Um, and the nice thing that you do obviously have with these type of cards and or card backs boxes is it does give you this sort of information here so it's talking about i'm not going to read it all out you if anybody wants to have a look at that of course you can just pause the video and um, and read it but it's talking about um luke skywalker in terms of like it gives you his height his status classification affiliation weapons of choice etc so if you want to have a look at that in more detail then um just uh obviously pause it and have a look so just one um final look at the front of the packaging again as i said i'm not expecting too much from the from the actual um, figure of Luke. You, you can probably see that through the, uh, the the plastic window there. It doesn't look the best sculpt, and obviously the fact that um, he's just got that really heavy goods plastic on um, doesn't really do it any favours. But um, for me, this was just obviously about having a look at the speeder bike. Um, you can't really have you know too too many of these really. So let's um, get this out of the packaging. And we'll have a look. Okay, so this is what you get in the packaging. Um, I've got to say, the, the figure of Luke came out really, really easily. Um, and obviously, as you can see on the back of that, he's sort of um, sealed in with that uh, that sort of, I'm not sure what you call it, that plastic binder, really. But this part was really, really difficult to get out. I don't know why. Um, and then obviously on the back, you can see a little bit of that. So we've got to remove these binders. So let's, uh, let's without further ado, have a look at that. Okay, so... Um, well, yeah, that, that <laughs> for some reason that took a little bit getting out, but um, this is actually just looking at the speeder. It's it's, it's look, I mean, there's not lots of weathering on this one, of course. Um, it doesn't look very weathered at all. There's a little bit on the front here that you can possibly see, maybe a little bit there on the sides, but nothing at all on the back, really, or on the you know the back, or I should say, of the back of the of the actual speeder bike. But what it does also come with is these um, sort of stickers, which is quite nice. We will apply them a little bit later. Um, I'm not going to put that um, that that Luke on there because I just think, look at it. It just it just doesn't do it justice. But I mean, actually, the speeder bike itself looks pretty nice. Um, what's not to like about these you know you want as many of these as you can get and let's hope obviously the vintage one that we do get is going to be better than this but it's got some nice detailing on the back you know some nice detailing on of course obviously you haven't got the coloring or anything else like that on the sides but nice enough so um, let's see if we can find the, um, the vintage collection Luke and see if we can get him on that one Okay, so there we've got the um, the Luke Skywalker, the Endor, the VC198. Now, um, that obviously sort of, it fits on okay. I mean, obviously it doesn't, you, you could probably manipulate those legs a little bit more, but I can't really get him to sort of get specifically with his feet in that position. Whoops, now he's going to come off. Um, and of course, what you don't have with this, 
oops, hang on. Okay, sorry, so there you can see. So it's nice having that figure on. Um, it doesn't obviously sort of quite fit. So, um, you know, in, in the sense of obviously his legs going all the way down. And of course, also the handles on the speeder bike is uh, obviously really designed for a power of the force figure, which obviously has a much chunkier and bigger hands. I mean, yeah, you could probably manipulate that and get them on, but I don't really want to stretch his hands out too much. It was more just to give you a, an idea of how he actually looks on it. And it looks absolutely fine. Um, I don't think there's any issues whatsoever there. Of course, as I said, I haven't got him completely connected with his hands on the, the sort of handlebars if you like if you want to call them those but it's nice enough look of course you know this is uh nothing hopefully like that we're going to get in the vintage collection one but at the end of the day this was uh picked up for i think somewhere in the region of about 15 pounds a little while back so i'm quite pleased with that does job. Who's as I said, who's not to like the speeder bikes? We would welcome more of those. And I mean, you know, if you compare, I know this sounds obviously difficult because it's stupid, you can't really compare them. But I believe the new one that we've got coming out shortly, or I say shortly, but you know what I mean, in the future, is somewhere in the region, certainly in the UK, of around about $44.99, I believe it's been priced at. So quite expensive. So, you know, if you just want to, you know, get these in terms of sort of getting more speeder bikes for uh, an indoor scene or an indoor diorama. These are certainly worth picking up. Um, as I said, you could certainly do some manipulation on, on, on the hands and that, so not a massive issue. Um, quite, quite, you know, it's quite a decent uh, a decent speeder bike. Um, I know it obviously does have that sort of function if we, where you can break it all apart, that falls out, et cetera, et cetera. Not the biggest fan of those, I've got to say. Yep, so that was just sort of semi showing you how it falls apart. As I said, I'm not not really the biggest fan of of those sort of things coming apart. It's it's a decent speeder bike. The one thing that I would say, yeah, okay, look, forget the weathering. It's not that bad. Um, the one thing though, I would just would say if you were looking at it from um, you know, from an issue point of view, and it's not a massive issue by any stretch of the imagination, but the the handles. These essentially, are, they're not loose, but they're a little bit, uh, they're a bit, a little bit easy to manipulate. Anyway, um, at the end of the day, this is a decent pickup. Who doesn't like their speeder bikes? I said this will hopefully go into a, a decent indoor diorama. Get those stickers on, and away you go. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel and you want to subscribe, please do. There'll be plenty more videos coming soon. If you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.